the recording for read antibiotic resistant threats video. Can you imagine a world without antibiotics? You shouldn't have to, but over the past few decades, they've been losing their punch. Make no mistake, we are at war. While new antibiotic research is being conducted, bacteria continue to become more resistant to antibiotics. Sadly, the way we've been using antibiotics is partly to blame, so it's important to know our enemy and what we can do to win this war. Bacterial strains that are resistant to many types of antibiotics are called superbugs. They infect over 2 million people across the U.S. each year and kill more than 23,000. Common forms of superbugs include types of tuberculosis, staph infections like MRSA, and gonorrhea. Dr. Clifton Berry of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases conducts tuberculosis research. It's inevitable that you de develop resistance. Ultimately, the bacteria will always find a way around whatever your target is in the bacteria that you're using to kill it. Some bacteria are naturally resistant to antibiotics like cephalosporins, so these bacteria will survive when you use that drug. These bacteria multiply or share their resistance, so that the next time you use the same drug, more bacteria survive. Eventually, most of your targeted bacteria develop strategies like making beta-lactamase to fight a particular drug. You need to use a new drug now, but then the process starts all over again. Even if you can diagnose it properly, you sort of get to a point where there's no option anymore but to sort of wait it out and see what happens. We have a strategy to keep you healthy. Together, we can win this war with prevention, proper use, and research. You know, we've managed to keep on top of bacterial uh, drug resistance by being in this sort of arms race for the last 50 years. A lot of what the pharmaceutical industry does um, is very specialized, very automated, very difficult um, to reproduce in a kind of a setting like NIH. And so our solution to that um, has been to uh, try to partner with um, drug companies. It is for the public good that we have to prevent the out big outbreaks of antibiotic resistant organisms. And so a public research institute like NIH has to take some of that responsibility. That's what we're doing. But what can you do? First, there's prevention. You can help slow the spread of antibiotic-resistant bacteria and help defend against the superbugs by staying healthy and infection-free. Wash your hands frequently and don't share personal items. Try not to spread infectious bacteria and promote healthy bacteria in your system by exercising and eating healthily. Your second line of defense is using antibiotics properly. Don't ask for antibiotics if the doctor doesn't recommend them. They should only be taken when necessary. If you have a virus, like a cold or a flu virus, it can't be treated with antibiotics. You can actually make your bacteria resistant that much faster by taking an unnecessary course of antibiotics. And you can also kill some healthy bacteria that help you fight off other infections. Be sure to take antibiotics exactly as directed and finish all your medication, even if you feel better. This is the worst mistake you can make because there are still bacteria that are present. You just don't feel it anymore. And if you don't actually finish the course of antibiotics, there's a better chance that you're going to develop resistance. This war affects us all, so be sure to do your part and help fight the spread of superbugs. It is a, a public health problem. It's not a, a private health problem. And in that, in that sense, you know, we have a responsibility to think about what the public health impact of our use of antibiotics is. Not just in, you know, infectious diseases and drug resistance uh, bacteria don't respect national boundaries. I mean, this is not something we can keep contained um, in any way um, across national boundaries. So. I think we have a global responsibility to be very careful with how we use antibiotics because your misuse can result in infections uh, of other people, maybe in this country, maybe in another country, maybe your friends, maybe people you've never met before who now have no option.